I just kept on stabbing his neck. I was... Is it okay if I do a demonstration? Oh, yeah. This is him. I was straddled on top of him like this. Okay. And uh, he couldn't fight back. It was actually surprisingly easy. I was, you know, breaking the sweat. I thought, oh, this guy, he's going to be tough. But no, it was actually surprisingly easy. And during the time, I was growling and making the animalistic noises. <laughs> At this point, there can be no doubt that Brian is excited to tell the investigators all about his horrific deed. Not only is he pleased to be holding court, he's actually reliving the murder and relishing the memory, demonstrated by a smile. As for any question of this crime being premeditated, Brian admits to having put on three layers of gloves, which he already had with him. The whole ordeal lasted about a minute, minute and a half. Okay. And when I was finished stabbing him, he took out his last breath, a grunt, and his head was halfway cut off in stabs. All the while, no, actually, after I killed him, I just couldn't stop saying stinky, dirty, dirty, stinky, stinky. It wasn't, I wasn't smelling anything, but... In an eerie coincidence, on one of his social media accounts, Brian identifies himself as that stinky boy registered under his email ID. Can why were you saying that? I don't know. Okay. But you remember doing it, so. Yeah. I suppose it was just me speaking out my mind at that moment. It was like pouring out of the mind. Were you worried about, I mean, this looks like it's pretty close to the road and stuff. Somebody seeing you well, or catching you? It was 11 p.m., okay. so not many were driving by. Well, it was behind the pillar. So, like, here's the road. Uh -huh. It was here. So, people would only see a brief thing here and here. So, were you worried about them seeing you? I was worried about one of them stopping. What did you think could happen if somebody... Well, if they looked, well, it was...